So welcome to Learn Golf with Cassie. I'm at Windsor Park today. It's just me, no Cassie today. Um, I played here a couple of times. The last time I played this course was 2017 in a little competition, a scramble. Me and my team won that day. So hopefully good recollections for today. But um, let's see how we do. Let's get into it. 7.30 in the morning, it's looking gorgeous. Look at that view. That's how you start a holiday in Thailand. And this is the first hole on the B course. Okay, there's a good straight drive off the first. Just look at that sky, look at that blue sky. That's fabulous. It's gonna be about 30 degrees a day. It's perfect weather for golf. Using the watch today. We can see my yardage to the ball is 247, so a nice straight ball in the middle of the fairway. 151 to the middle. So I'm going to be playing off the blues today. Oh. Mm. Okay, coming up on the green, I hit an absolute skinny, horrible shot. I didn't get any of the club, but front of the green, chance for a chip and a putt. The greens are running at 8.9, but uh, very wet on the floor at the moment with the ground dew. See how it looks like on the green. Mm, bit hard. Landed that as I wanted to, but uh, as I say, it takes a few minutes to get used to the greens. I'll take a five here. They have the circles here which they use for tap-ins. I've got about 10 feet per hole. Oh, just missed. Five. I think it's a par four, bit of a dog leg. Okay, start. Ah, lovely to be out here. Long time viewers of Learn Golf with Cassie will know that um, we have actually been to Windsor Park about five years ago, really early on in the channel. One of our, my first visits on the channel to Thailand. Okay, drive number two, 253. Pretty happy to keep it solid around the 250s. I'm not trying to go hard because I don't know the course, but there is the flag up there. Okay, came up a bit short on that one. It's two in a row short. I think I didn't have quite enough club. Caddy's just getting used to my clubbing. She said to go down a club to a seven. I had a six in my hand. A six might have just made it, but you need a better strike than that. So let's see if I can get the irons going. Very soft. No run at the moment. Quite a bit long again. Okay. Thank you, looks a little bit right. Okay, as we walk up to here, very well bunkered. And my ball's just over the right, just cleared that bunker, very close. Um, see if I can actually make a chip and a putt. I've actually hit two shots on the first two holes that were exactly as I wanted them, but getting used to the greens, a little bit firmer than I'm used to, so I have to land it a little bit shorter and get to run up. Oh, up. Come in enough. <laughs> okay. Okay, hole three, another bogey. Just got a little bit jammed up in that lie. So it just uh, didn't come out quite as far as I was hoping. Still, 
I just missed the par on each of those, just getting used to it. I actually felt I had a good putt there. Just gave it a little bit too much outside the right. Could have actually gone a little bit straighter. Don't give away the hole. Okay, well, I went right, so I've made this par five a little bit more difficult. Water all down the left. I'd say this was pretty classic style. Hole in Thailand, water left, and the trees to the right. Okay, here it is. There is my gap. Okay, it's gonna be a bit of a weird video. I keep seeing the caddy turn it from landscape to portrait mid shot, trying to catch the actual view, which doesn't help us for editing or for you for seeing odd shots, but I'll try and teach her to keep it landscape all the time. Well, that worked out really quite nicely. Just slithers its way through the top branches. Now it gives me about 160, 170 to the flag up there. We are absolutely flying. I'm in a one ball, but in front of a two ball. It's going quite nicely. There I am, just short right again. Okay, another bogey. Starting off with four bogeys. It's okay, the golf's good. That chip was exact as I wanted it. I landed it about an, two inches short. It just hit an upslope and then killed the ball. And I think I need to be a bit more positive on the putts as well. They're rolling beautifully. Just pick the line and hit it. Okay, we come up to the green. Again, I'm about 20 yards short. This one, it's got a little false front. I'm thinking maybe I've got to uh, fly this one. Got to carry that first bit. But the flag's right at the front. It's gonna be difficult to keep it near. A good shot. It's always going to be difficult to hold that one. That's a good putt. <laughs> I like that. I barely touched it. Okay, this is, I think this is a sixth hole. Water down the right, OB to the left. A nice size fairway, but you can't miss. And this is handicap one. It's about from here where I am, it's about 400. So not super long, but you've got to be precise. Well, that is perfect. Okay, so after five holes, I'm five over. Should have been hitting the ball okay here. Just not scoring yet. Putting, just need to Give a little bit less break. I'm used to very grainy grass in Taiwan and as it slows down the break whips your ball away from the hole. This doesn't happen here. I can go a little bit straighter and the uh, ball will just continue without getting slapped by any kind of grain. So just getting used to the greens. Um, see if I can make a couple of pars on the rest of this back uh, front nine. One thing we're finding today is you you're not getting any roll, so it's all carry. So making the course a little bit longer than you would usually get, probably because of the early damp grass. Oh yeah, that's a shot. Okay, the reason why this is handicap one is because of the water all the way down the right, which cuts in in front of the green. So you have to carry it all the way. I had 185, I took a five and I should be in the ballpark. Finally hit a stroke. 
with a bit of venom and should be maybe a tiny bit short but not much. Here's the water as we come up to the green. As I say you've got to cover the front with enough yardage you're not going to get away with anything on this hole. Okay, finally the chip got the speed of the green, left it within tapping distance. On the hardest hole on the course. A par five, this is the seventh. I think it dog legs round that tree there. Okay, maybe a little bit too close to the right there. Fine drive, just a bit of cut. I'm learning a bit of Thai as I go around. My caddy's very nice. Um, left side, right, quai, and water is nam. Now hopefully that I can use those three on my tour the rest of the way. Useful information. Okay, as we come up to the ball, I just had a little bit of cut. It's taken me behind this big tree, so it's blocked me for the green. I can still go low and leave myself a wedge, but uh, a little bit of course knowledge and uh, wanted to be over there. Now I've got a bit of a chip and run now. That's exactly the one to step under the tree, little seven iron punch it about 140. Unfortunately though, that's the second time I've had to punch a seven iron to recover on a par five. Okay, as I come up to the green complex, water all the way to the front. I don't think I'd have been going for the green anyway, but I could have given myself a much closer shot. I got over 200 now, or well, maybe 190. Okay, a little bit quiet. Just uh, okay. I was actually flag high. You can see it there. Got an interesting downhiller from there, though. Again, it's gonna be difficult to get this in tight. I had the 56 there, didn't bring the 60, but it just landed downhill, so it's difficult to keep that on close. Let's see if I can roll this in. Okay, another fun hole, another nice bogey. I'm only gonna make pars on the hardest holes, I'm, I'm sorry to say today. Um, yeah, I'm really, it's, it's lovely. The, the, the fairways are lovely. The greens are lovely. Um, you know, tap-ins are so easy here. Okay, we're coming down. Like, this is number nine or number eight? Number eight. Number eight on the B course. Two fairways, one there, one here. And there's water. I think it's carry from the blues is probably about 200. I'm back here. Mm. Okay, like an idiot, I've got a spare fairway to the left and I leave it out to the right. <laughs> I think I put it in the water, so uh, take my medicine. What a view, my God, look at it. So nice. You cannot, cannot lose it to the right. And I did that cardinal sin. I mean, that was a silly one. That's the sort of thing that if you check out the video me and Cassie did on her goals, knowing which shot you can't play and then making sure you go the worst the other way is one of the things that Cassie's got on her 2023 goals. That was just um, a silly shot for me. I should have been a bit more careful and stayed more left.
saved my five. <laughs> Bogey. Well, <yeah. laughs> there you can see that lizard. Probably about five foot long. Gave me a bit of a scare as we come up to the ninth. Par four. Water down the right. Okay, here's the view of the ninth hole on the B course. It's a bit of a dog leg to the right. Again, you've got to carry the water from the blues, the backs. So I had about 200 carry the water, it's not an issue. It's more to do whether I keep the line. I wanted to stay right at that big palm tree by the water, so left of the big trunk palm tree of the water. I managed to do that. I worried I was actually hit it too far on that line, but it should be okay. Okay, as we come to the corner, I'm um, actually just about hang on, hung on, and there's the dog leg to the right. Probably about 160 left. Okay, so I hit a good drive. I still got 220 to a back pin. It's going to be a solid hybrid from here. Okay, so there's a water stream across the middle of the fairway. I um, think that should be near the green or on the green. I hit a uh, slightly heavy three hybrid, which probably would be enough club if I had hit it a little bit more cleanly. Okay, managed to get it running up there. Played it more like, a, oh, it's really soft underfoot, my God. They really water the fairways well. I can feel it spongy. That's happened to a lot of my balls. I've just landed short and just stopped in there. Exactly where they landed, but this one I hit a lower, kind of more sort of like punchy shot like I would in Taiwan in the winter. I've got to start playing the ball a little bit higher, getting to carry further. About 15 yards. Okay. A little bit uphill, there's a ridge there and it comes downhill just at the end here, so about 15 paces. Get in! Oh my goodness! <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you very much for watching Course B at Windsor Park. Hope you enjoyed the views. Bit of a player's guide as you walk around. Fabulous feeling playing golf on greens like this. And uh, really in good condition. Absolutely loved it. Find the, the video for next week. We're gonna be putting part two, which is gonna be one of the other Windsor courses. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna play in a minute, but worth watching anyway.